Hi, this is Billy and I'm one of the Fuji guys. Today, I want to take a first look at the new instant film camera from Fuji called the Instax Mini 70. The camera has been redesigned to be more modern looking, more streamlined in terms of size, as well as offers three new colors. We have the canary yellow, the moon white, as well as the island blue. If you want to learn more about the step up camera to the Instax Mini 8, keep on watching. Instax Mini 70 offers a more modern looking design that's a little bit more mature than the Instax Mini 8 when it comes to the looks. A little bit more streamlining design, slimmer profile, a little bit more compact, and overall the build on the camera seems a little bit more solid than the Mini 8 lineup. The camera itself also offers unique colors from the canary yellow to the moon white to the island blue that have sort of a pearl slash metallic finish to it. The camera itself uh, looks um, very much like any other Instax camera. Some of the controls remain the same. Uh, the Instax Mini 70 does offer a little bit more controls over the Mini 8, so I'm gonna go through some of those features today. You have the built-in shutter release button, allows you to release the shutter so that you can capture the picture. You got your viewfinder, both the front window and the, and the rear window, so when you're looking through that, that's how you're gonna frame your picture. You got your built-in flash, that's effective to about nine feet. You got your exposure meter reading in the front, so the camera can determine the exposure of the scene itself to see how bright it is, and it can, can adjust the uh, variable shutter that's built onto the camera. In fact, the camera can range from half a second all the way to one four hundredth of a second, meaning if the scene is very, very bright, the flash may not need to fire. And that's a big difference between this camera and the Instax Mini 8 where regardless of the scene, the flash will always have to fire because it has a set shutter speed of just about 1 60th of a second. The camera also offers a built-in um, uh, selfie mirror that helps you frame your picture, okay? In fact, on the back of the camera, there's actually a selfie button that changes the focus distance so that when you do have your pictures with the arm lengths away that you'll probably be in focus. So turning on the camera is, is the power button on the back of the camera. Pushing that button the lens will of course uh, uh, come out. Pushing the selfie button you'll hear a little noise and that changes the focus distance like I said before from uh, you know the conventional 60 centimeters to 3 meters down to only about 30 to 60 centimeters. So again, within that distance, your subject should be in focus. Um, you can turn off the selfie distance and it goes back to the normal, you know, um, 60 centimeters, three meters focus distance. You got a self timer button on the back of the camera, pushing it allows you to do a, a one shot self timer that counts from 10 seconds. Pushing it one more time allows you to take a second shot with that same self timer. So then you can get two pictures, which means you can share one with your friend that uh, of course you're taking pictures with. Um, pushing the mode button, there's several different modes on this camera that basically changes the focus distance on the camera. You got the macro mode that changes to, just like your selfie mode, down to 30 centimeters to 60 centimeters away from the subject. You have a landscape mode that changes it to basically three meters to infinity. So anything beyond that becomes in focus. It also changes the exposure accordingly so that the scene is proper when taking landscape shots. Pushing it one more time, you have basically what's called a forced flash mode. And that means that regardless of how bright the scene is, the flash will always fire. And that's a good thing, good thing sometimes when you're shooting in bright sunlight and maybe there's a silhouette where you want the flash to actually fire to illuminate the subject, okay? Pushing the mode button one last time brings up what we call in high key mode. And the high key photography, as you may, ch changes the shutter speeds to be a little bit more slower so that your scenes become a little bit more a uh, little bit more brighter, a little bit more washed out. So if you want that high key effect, that's basically what you would do to shoot with this. Uh, and it makes your face a little bit more brighter than it normally would in terms of uh, proper exposure. Pushing the mode button one last time brings it back to basically the, the automatic mode where the flash 
automatically fires when it needs to. And of course the focus distance is you know, from uh, 60 centimeters to about three meters, which is a typical shot that you would do taking pictures with friends and family with the camera. Okay, um, on the back of the camera you have a little mirror here that, uh, or a little window that you look through and it tells you whether you have film inserted on the camera or not. So if you see a yellow stripe inside that little window, that means you do have film inside. On the side of the camera, you have this little film eject switch here that you slide down. And I'm gonna open that up with a, a camera that doesn't have any film here. As you can see, and it uses basically the Instax mini film. And you can get uh, a 10 pack here, as you can see, um, that will just insert directly onto this camera once it's done, of course. Uh, once you have the film inserted, the first shot that you take, it's gonna eject that protector card. And then beyond that, you start to, uh, to take pictures. And of course, on the back of the camera, you have this little mini LCD that displays the different mode, but also it displays the exposure that's remaining after you've taken shots with the camera. So again, on top of this camera, you have where the film uh, actually ejects. So turning on the camera, let's see if I can actually uh, take a picture right here. And as you can see, the flash went off and the film actually ejects. This is where the exposure will come out. You don't have to shake it. It's gonna take about you know, 90, uh, 90 seconds before you start to see uh, something appear and be developed. And it takes a full five minutes for everything to be fully developed and fully finished. And I'm gonna leave that and let it uh, expose on its own. Again, you don't have to shake it. The camera does come with straps. So on the, on the left and on the right side of the camera here, you have these little uh, strap eyelets that you can attach the included strap. And of course, allows you to take this uh, a camera along with you everywhere you go. So again, if you wanna learn more about this and other Fujifilm products, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter at Fuji Guys. Until then, I'm Billy of the Fuji Guys. Mm -hmm.